Well, hello. Welcome to Be the Unicorn Tarot. So it's been a long time since I've posted a video, but I was inspired when I found these little cards here. Squid Cake on Tarot. They are just adorable. Come with a little book. And the cards, oh my goodness. I love the pink. I don't know if you can see the colors. I decided to do one of those uh, getaways. Just go find a pretty place. So, welcome to the pretty place. <laughs> so, this is a for whoever needs to hear it now reading. Is watching this, what do they need to know? <gasps> the magician. I love the magician card. And this one, really, I can relate to. This magician, I'm so sorry to say it this way, but he makes me think of he's kind of dopey. <laughs> but he's more capable than he realizes, and that's the point of the magician. Everything you need for whatever you would like to do, you already have. But as you can see here, he's holding the wand. He's not looking at the table and on the table, he has the cup. He has the sword and he has the pentacle. So, sorry, there's a glare. I can't really see it too well. I'm hoping you'll be able to see it. But, so, you must be doubting yourself about something. Tell me more. Seven of Cups. Okay, so maybe it's not doubt. Maybe it's more confusion. The Seven of Cups is having multiple options or not being able to focus on one specific thing. So I guess, hmm. So is there something specific that they should do to help make this decision or to get rid of this confusion? We'll just see what I get and go from there. Huh. Ace of Batons. What are you passionate about? This is also the Ace of Rods. What inspires you? That's really what it's about. Stop focusing on what other people think, what other people want, what lights you up, because that's what this is about. It's, it, I have another deck and it has a, a very brightly burning wand. And the point is, is it what, what, light, what lights you up? So, yeah, it's pretty simple. But I guess in most cases, what do we all do? We miss the obvious because after all, it's obvious. Okay, I'm dropping a whole bunch of cards and so we're just gonna go with it. So the first card is Temperance. And temperance is about patience. It takes time. In the traditional deck, I believe she's turning water into wine. So this is something that takes time. You have to have patience and just go with it. So you probably just need to follow a structure, a schedule, however you want to put that, to get where you want to go. The hermit. So maybe what you have to do is spend a little time alone thinking about what you need to do. That plan, that schedule that I was just talking about in Temperance, maybe that's what this is about. I'm sorry, there's a breeze and I'm trying to make sure my cards don't go flying away. So, but that light, it's their light. It's his light. It's whatever lights him up. So once again, that passion, that patience, that schedule, you know what you you know what you have to do. Just take the time to figure it out. I don't do reversals. The full card. And here, this one I think is so incredibly important. And to me really is reminiscent of that magician card. The fool, he, he doesn't know any better. <laughs> he just blindly steps off that cliff. He's just doing his thing. I mean, look at he's standing there. He's paying no mind to what looks like an octopus wrapping its, its tentacle around his, his leg. He's just doing his thing. 
And I think that's what the magician, the whole thing starts with the magician. You are capable. You just have to stop letting things stop you. Be that fool. Be the one that does what they believe in. What you feel strongly about. What's your passion? And the Two of Cups. Because this is what you're meant to. The Two of Cups is a perfect partner. It's the perfect soulmate in uh, the traditional deck. It's the two people facing one another, sharing the cup. Or sharing their cups, is how I take it. And if you look here, I think it's very interesting. They both look surprised. Once again, I think this harkens back to that whole not knowing what you're doing or thinking you don't know what you're doing and then being so surprised when it works. And that's why you have the Two of Cups. Whatever it is, have faith, get a plan together and do it. So I hope this resonates. If it does, let me know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for taking time to be here. Take care, bye.